In this video, we're going to finish the Solving Absolute Values Equations worksheet on the CUDA software website. You can find this worksheet within the Infinite Algebra 2 tab, and I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access this. Now number 16, picking up where we left off, we need to isolate this absolute value in order to solve. We'll do that by subtracting 3 from both sides. So we'll have 3 minus 3, which is 0, but we're still subtracting the absolute value of 8x minus 6. So the opposite of the absolute value of 8x minus 6 equals 3 minus 3, which is 0. This negative we can think of negative 1 times the absolute value of 8x minus 6 equals 0. Then we just divide by negative 1 on both sides. Dividing by negative 1, negative 1 divided by negative 1 is a positive 1, and 1 times any quantity is that quantity. So we'll have the absolute value of 8x minus 6 equal to 0 divided by negative 1, but 0 divided by any number is just 0. So that means that 8x minus 6 is equal to 0. Since the absolute value of 0 is 0, and there's no other number, that we can say that 8x minus 6 equals 2 to where the absolute value of that would equal 0. So we have one equation in this instance, 8x minus 6 equals 0. So we'll add 6 to both sides to get that 8x equals 0 plus 6, which is 6. Dividing both sides by 8, I get that x is equal to 6 eighths, which we know can be simplified Dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2, we'll get 3 fourths. So 6 eighths is equivalent to 3 fourths, and 3 fourths is our only solution for number 16. And number 17, 2 minus 5 times the absolute value of 5m minus 5 equals negative 73. So we're going to start by subtracting 2 from both sides. That'll be negative 5 times the absolute value of 5m minus 5 equals negative 73 minus 2, which is negative 75. Our next step in order to isolate that absolute value is to divide both sides by negative 5. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1, so we'll have the absolute value of 5m minus 5 equal to negative 75 divided by negative 5, which is a positive 15. This means that the quantity within the absolute value, 5m minus 5, either equals 15 or it equals negative 15, since the absolute value of 15 equals 15 and the absolute value of negative 15 also equals 15. So setting up our two separate equations, we have 5m minus 5 equals positive 15 and 5m minus 5 equals negative 15. Starting with the positive, we'll add 5 to both sides to get that 5m is equal to 20. Dividing by 5, we'll get that m is equal to a positive 4. And for when 5m minus 5 is negative 15, we'll add 5 to both sides to get that 5m is equal to a negative 10. Dividing both sides by 5, we'll get that m is equal to negative 10 divided by 5, which is a negative 2. So our solution in number 17 is 4 or negative 2. In number 18, we're going to start by adding 9 to both sides. So we'll have 6 times the absolute value of 1 minus 5x equals 57 plus 9, which is 66. Our next step will be to divide by 6 in order to isolate that absolute value. So dividing both sides by 6, we'll get that the absolute value of 1 minus 5x equals 66 divided by 6, which is 11. That means the quantity within the absolute value, 1 minus 5x, either equals 11 or it equals negative 11. So 1 minus 5x equals 11 or 1 minus 5x equals negative 11. When 11 is positive, we'll subtract 1 from both sides to get that negative 5x equals a positive 10. Dividing by negative 5 on both sides, we'll get that x is equal to negative 2. When 11 is negative, 
if we subtract 1 from both sides, we'll get that negative 5x equals negative 12. When we divide by negative 5, we'll get that x is equal to positive 12 fifths. And that fraction cannot be simplified any further. So the answer for number 18 is negative 2 or 12 fifths. In number 19, we're going to start by adding 3 to both sides. This will leave me with 3 times the absolute value of 3 minus 5r. And that's going to be equal to 18 plus 3, which is 21. Next, I'll divide both sides by 3 in order to isolate that absolute value. So I'll have the absolute value of 3 minus 5r equal to 21 divided by 3, which is 7. That means that the quantity within the absolute value, 3 minus 5r, equals 7, or it equals negative 7. So now I can set up my two equations. When 3 minus 5r equals positive 7, I can subtract 3 from both sides to get that negative 5r equals a positive 4. Dividing both sides by negative 5, I'll get that r is equal to negative 4 fifths. For when 3 minus 5r is equal to negative 7, I'll subtract 3 from both sides to get that negative 5r is equal to negative 10. Therefore, when I divide by negative 5, I get that r is equal to a positive 2. So for number 19, my solution is negative 4 fifths or 2. And lastly, in this video, number 20. I'm going to start this off by adding 7 to both sides. So I'll have 5 times the absolute value of 9 minus 5n on the left, and that's equal to 38 plus 7, which is 45. When I divide both sides by 5, in order to isolate the absolute value, I get that the absolute value of 9 minus 5n is equal to 45 divided by 5, which is 9. Now that the absolute value is by itself, I can see that it's going to be equal to either 9 or a negative 9. Setting up my two equations, 9 minus 5n equals 9. I'll subtract 9 from both sides to get that negative 5n equals 0. Dividing by negative 5, I'll get that n is equal to 0. 9 minus 5n equals negative 9. I'll subtract 9 from both sides to get that negative 5n equals negative 18. Then I'll divide by negative 5 to get that n is equal to positive 18 fifths. And that fraction cannot be simplified any further. So my solution for the last problem on this worksheet is 0 or 18 fifths. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Also, if you didn't subscribe, go ahead and do that now, and while you're at it, click the like button so I know that you found this video helpful. And with that, we've wrapped up the Solving Absolute Values Equations worksheet.